Stable Diffusion 3.5 is an incredible open source text to image model. And I'm gonna show you how to set it up and use it today. You can create incredible images like this one, and this one, and this one, and this one. This is completely open source and free, so you can download it on your local computer, but what we're gonna do today is get it set up using a cloud GPU service called Vulture. If you've watched my channel for any period of time, you know I love Vulture. They've sponsored a bunch of different videos and they're partnering with me on this video as well. You can follow many of these steps to get it set up locally, but if you want it done easier and you don't have a beefy GPU to power it, this is a great and inexpensive alternative. So if you don't already have a Vulture account, go ahead sign up it is free to sign up and remember during sign up use the code Berman 300 to get $300 of credits for free during your first month of use so log in go to the left side click on this products tab you're going to come to cloud compute right at the top here so on the right side click deploy and then you're going to deploy a new instance choose type we're going to click cloud gpu you can select whichever location makes sense for you whichever one's closest to you so we're going to select the ubuntu operating system right there just like that scroll down we're going to choose our plan the nvidia l40s is sufficient for what we need today for stable diffusion 3.5 we're going to select one of them that's all we need so the next thing is we're going to deselect auto backups because we don't need that so go ahead click there i understand the risks and we are ready to go we click deploy now so just wait till it's done installing and then we'll go to our next step all right so now you can see our new cloud gpu is up and running with the green play button and status right there so we click on the three dots right here we go to server details and what we're going to be doing next is sshing into the server next open up your terminal and we're going to do all of this through docker so you're going to come down here you're going to click the copy ip address button right next to your ip address so you're going to do ssh root at and then the ip address and then hit enter and then when you're asked for the password go back to vulture and you'll find your password right here you click copy password and then you just paste it in and hit enter and there we go, we're in. So we can see root at vulture. Now that we're SSH'd in, we are going to download the Docker image. So we're gonna do Docker pull, and then we're going to download the comfy UI Docker image. And you don't have to remember any of this. I'll drop all of the instructions down below. So we hit enter, and then we can see, I've already downloaded it, so I won't need to do it again, but you'll need to go through that download process. Now we're gonna make a new folder for storage. So mkdir-p storage, hit enter. And now we have to run the Docker image. So we're going to run this command again. I'll drop all of these in the description below. So we run it like so, hit enter, and that's it. Now the Docker image is going to run. Now I just ran Docker logs F with the Docker ID. And if you need to find the Docker ID, just type Docker PS. It'll give you the list of Docker's running. Got the logs, I see it's working. Now we want to allow the port in the firewall. So we go back to root and we type UFW allow 8188, there we go. Next we need to install the Hugging Face CLI. So we're going to type pip install dash U and then in quotes, Hugging Face underscore hub brackets CLI end quote, hit enter. And then it should download just like that. Next we're going to log in to Hugging Face. So Hugging Face dash CLI log in hit enter at this point you need to generate a token so you can grab the url from right here huggingface.co slash settings slash tokens copy it go into your browser create a new token just like so we're going to call it comfy ui dash vulture and we're going to have it as a read token create token let's copy it and here let's enter it and hit enter and I don't need it as a get credential. Okay, login successful. Now we are going to download the model files just like so, hit enter. And there it goes. So we can see it's downloading right now and it's relatively fast, but it is multiple gigabytes worth of files. So obviously it's gonna take a couple minutes. All right, and it looks like it's done. So now go into your server information. You're gonna grab this IP address right there and you're simply gonna put it in your browser and then colon 8188 as the port, hit enter. It's going to direct you to the Comfy UI and there we go and it's loading up now. Look at that, boom. So we have Comfy UI with Stable Diffusion 3.5 loaded up 
awesome. So there's just a couple last things we need to do to get this ready. First, we're going to move the files that we just downloaded into the storage folder into the correct location. So we're going to use this command right here, hit enter. Okay. And now we're going to move the text encoders just like so hit enter. All right. So refresh the page and it should just work out of the box. So right here where it says clip text encode prompt bulldog writing a person, then you click Q prompt and here is the output. Not quite what we asked for, but still really good looking. And you can import other workflows as well. So let's try another one. Cat with dragon wings, Q prompt, and look how fast this is. I mean, this is a very beefy GPU on Vulture and yeah, it's super fast. So there we go. I mean, it looks fantastic. This looks really good. And like I said, you could try different workflows. You can play around with all of these different settings. You could try flux, stable diffusion, large, all of these things are possible now that you know how to set it up. So that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I want to say another thank you to Vulture for being just such an amazing partner. And Vulture right now has a limited time promo offer on the GH200. So go to getvulture.com slash GH200. It's $2.99 an hour. That is 25% off their normal rate. And like I said, all the commands are going to be down in the description in a gist file. So if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.